In this learning module, I want to talk about the mother of all innovations, disruptive innovation, and a popular one at that. The 21st century is a playground for so many disruptions, disrupting post offices with emails, books with ebooks, education with MOOC, travel agencies with online ticketing, taxis with Ubers, retail stores with e commerce, movie rentals with streaming services, and many more. Innovation has taken the new role of a creative distractor, thwarting large enterprises and giant monoliths of business models and processes. Many contemporary businesses, products, services, or systems went completely obsolete by the introduction of something everyone called as a disruptive application of a very simple idea. Throughout the history, we have witnessed these quantum leaps of innovation. For example, the advent of electric bulbs replaced candles, typewriters to computers, and chemical-based photography advancing further to digital photography, etc. These innovations took place in the open space of endless possibilities of imagination, technological leaps, perseverance, and the human will to think differently, adapt and change from time to time. As a result, several disruptions emerged, replacing the old and innovating the new. So whenever technology makes a leapfrog attempt to obsolete the previous technology, the creative destruction happens. This can happen also periodically as mild disruptive innovations. We are living in a time where existing models are replaced by the new ones that deliver better results or better value to their customers. For example, the advent of personal computers was the disruption of the mainframes and now handheld devices are replacing personal computers. Semiconductors disrupted vacuum tubes and steamships disrupted sailing ships. Telephone disrupted the telegraph even though telephone initially did not compete with telegraph in the first innings. It was the non-consumers of telegraph who liked the telephone idea first. Historically, most disruptions were creating a new market of users and then spreading to the wide majority of users. This phenomenon is called new market disruptions. It creates new markets and new consumers that did not exist before. To take an example, Sony's pocket radio was a market disruptor. So does their Walkman. So does Apple's iPod. According to Clayton Christensen, the pioneer in the idea of disruptive innovation, the disruptive innovation doesn't invade the mainstream market. Rather, it pulls customers out of the mainstream value network into new one because these customers find it more convenient to use the new product. What is disruptive innovation? In business theory, a disruptive innovation is an innovation that creates a new market and value network and eventually displaces established market leading firms products and alliances. It is a process by which a product or a service takes root initially in simple applications at the bottom of the market and then relentlessly moves up market, eventually displacing established competitors. Disruptive innovation redefines the market, customer demographics and psychographics. They will discover new streams of opportunity that lies in the most sacrosanct of places. It may begin with a small stream of opportunity, slowly expanding into a mainstream and disrupting everything on its way. Since disruptions are likely to happen in small streams rather than the mainstreams, a disruptive entry of new ideas might be neglected in the beginning but organizations that have failed to notice them have paid a big price historically. For example, digital computer company collapsed in 1999, missing the personal computer drive, which began as a small disruption but went on to change the business landscape. Disruptions can emerge from smaller companies or bigger corporations. But here is the irony. Most disruptive innovations come from smaller companies or startups. And the bigger irony is that very often the large firms tend to neglect the disruptive innovations of smaller firms. 
It took the famous bookstore, Barnes and Nobles, almost 10 years to adapt the strategy to sell books online after the inception of Amazon. The online bookstore idea was considered as a negligible soft trend for brick and mortar stores until the click and motto disrupted them in a big way. The mainstream businesses are likely to ignore hard trends because they see them as soft trends. Whatever is considered passe can be turned in what might could probably become a mainstream business. That's how small streams of businesses and ideas disrupt mainstream ideas and businesses. The underlying fact is that present and future opportunities do not much exist in the mainstream but in streams that are yet to be found. Overall, disruptive innovations are a boon for both the customers and businesses. In a technology-driven innovation model, changes can happen rapidly due to the fast changes in technology even though the consumer is ready or not. But disruptions succeed when the market is ready, or at least a part of the vital customers are ready. Every disruptive innovation catches on eventually as the cost of technology gets cheaper exponentially. Moreover, no disruption is mass accepted at first merely on the needs to have them, but on the stronger wants to acquire them. Here we are driving wants above needs, making the disruptive innovation more aspirational rather than just meeting the needs of a customer. We saw that with the smart tablets and the rise of streaming services. Disruption can happen anytime. It can wipe out a technology or business platform even before the predecessor reaches a market. As technology gets improved over time, the rejected will turn out to be the most accepted or the niche becomes the commonly accepted and the unnoticeable trends become mega trends. In short, disruptive innovation presents both a threat and an opportunity. But the real question is when new ideas are difficult to find and great ideas are rare, how do you innovate? How do you find your opportunity? How do you intend to reinvent your company using disruptive innovation as a strategy? Disruptive innovation can be a long-term strategy as well as a short-term tactic in your innovation portfolio. Disruptive innovations create and sustains value because they focus on meeting the unmet needs and wants of a customer. In short, disruptions meet the psychographics needs of a customer. You need to identify ideas where customers are currently unhappy with their user experience and psychographically analyze what is that they truly want, what is the real pain points, and create products accordingly. Once you identify the pain points, you can integrate the right technology that will fulfill your customer's need.